Hey everyone, it's Miss Brandon from the Benjamin Branch of the Greensboro Public Library. What do you think the original U.S. Constitution, a fancy wedding invitation, and a recipe card written by someone's great-grandmother all have in common? The answer? You'll need to know cursive writing to be able to read them. Whether looking at primary resources when doing research, discovering family history and stories, writing your signature on legal or financial documents, or even just sending a classy and professional looking thank you card, being able to read and write in cursive is a valuable skill. Writing by hand, whether in cursive or printing, uses different areas of your brain than typing does, stimulating a different kind of learning. Today, I have two artistic activities you can do with your name, which will look awesome in cursive. In the text of this post, there are also links to cursive worksheets for basic learning and practice. In the coming months, we'll have more ideas for exploring cursive writing in fun and creative ways. For both activities I'm going to share with you today, all you need for supplies are paper and a pencil, then a marker or pen, plus either crayons, colored pencils, or colored pens. The first thing most people like to learn to write in cursive is their name. Write your name in the middle of a piece of paper using a pencil and writing lightly. Erase and make changes until it looks the way you want it to look. You can have a grown up help with this first step if you'd like. You'll still get practice writing your name when you go over it next with a pen or marker. Now for the art part. Using crayons, colored pencils, or colored pens, trace around your name again and again, and again, using different colors. Check it out. You can also experiment by using different patterns or different shapes. Now I'm gonna do my dog's name. Pretty cool, right? For the second activity, start by folding your paper in half and then open it back up. Write your name on the crease. Again, you can get a grown up to help because we'll be going over it a couple of times. Once your name is written as you like it, go over it again with your pencil back and forth over the lines so you use a lot of the pencil lead. Be careful not to press so hard you tear the paper or break the point. Fold the paper in half again and flip it over so the written side is face down on top. With the back of your nail, gently rub along the lines of your name. You're trying to transfer some of the extra pencil markings to the other side of the paper. Open the paper and fill in any missing parts and then go over your name, both of them, with a pen or marker. Now for the art part. Your name is going to turn into a bug, or an alien, or a monster. Watch this. What can you make with your name? Thanks for joining me today. I hope you have lots of fun practicing your name and the names of your family and friends in cursive writing. Look for more fun activities in the coming months. And don't forget, the Greensboro Public Library is open online all day, every day, with downloadable ebooks, audiobooks, movies, music, and more.